Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and my channel focuses mostly on style and beauty. Of course, I do lifestyle vlogs here and there and you'll see kind of behind the scenes of motherhood with me because I just had my son Nico, who's like five months. So if you're interested in the behind the scenes stuff, I probably will be doing vlogs either once or twice a month. So for my style videos, I like to focus on helping you build your forever wardrobe because I know it can be so overwhelming with like so many new things coming out all the time. I like to help you source like the best of the best that's available right now. Um, that I think will last in your closet for a long time. And then in terms of beauty videos, I love everyday no makeup makeup looks. So I tend to do a lot of those and try different products to achieve that look. If any of that sounds good to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And of course I do a lot of jewelry videos. I have a whole playlist on it. Today's video is partially sponsored by Pamela Card Jewelry, which is a Vancouver based Canadian jewelry company. And I'll talk more about that in a second. This is my November's favorites, whether it be fashion or beauty or lifestyle favorites. I'm gonna just show you around 10 pieces or 10 products that I have been loving this month. And there are a lot of goodies that I found this month. So let's get started. So first off on the November favorites list are these two pieces from Pamela Card Jewelry. They are a Canadian jewelry brand, which makes them even more amazing. You probably know that I am a sucker for any type of gold jewelry. And I do talk a lot about solid gold jewelry. A lot of the time, solid gold jewelry, especially pieces that are this heavy, are not accessible in terms of price point. And it's very hard to find like people who make like pieces like this that aren't like vintage pieces that are very hard to find. So Pamela Card Jewelry makes these amazing pieces that all have like stories behind them. And you know how much I love vintage jewelry because there is a story behind it. So when I do like invest in contemporary pieces, I like to have that same sort of feeling when I buy a piece that it's like, hey, like if someone's like, I love this piece, like where's it from? It's not just like, oh, it's from this place and that's it, the end of the conversation. I love to say like, oh, like actually has a meaning behind it. And when I put it on, like in the morning when I sell my jewelry, it just makes it a lot more exciting. They have actually 24K Vermeer gold pieces. So they actually hand make everything in Vancouver and they start off with like a sterling silver base uh, versus I find a lot of the time other jewelry brands do like brass. Sterling silver is like already a really high quality metal to begin with when you're talking about like affordable jewelry. Then they put like a really thick, I think it's like three microns thick of 24K Vermeer on top of that. So even though it is Vermeer, it's a very thick, layer of it so it like lasts a really really long time and their pieces are meant to be heirloom pieces like where you can like pass it on two generations to come which is another like pillar to how i buy my jewelry so every single piece is handmade locally and ethically in vancouver and their necklaces are designed to appear like excavated like they have been buried for like years before they're dug up and then like sent to a museum. Like it's got that really like relic vibe. Okay, so the top one's called the Unconquerable Sun. It is available in 14K if you do want to invest in a solid gold piece. So it's designed as an ode to the Sun of Virgina. I hope I'm saying that right. And the Sun of Virgina is a 16 pointed solar symbol. So this necklace is carved by hand from wax with four rays that depict the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air. And then the surrounding rays then represent the 12 gods of Olympus. And then there's a fragmented triumph. So the story behind this one is that back in the day, like in ancient Rome, coins and medallions were used to spread the word of victorious achievements. So you can see these are two lightly fractured Roman coins. Like one is engraved with victory and the one is engraved with the civic crown. So yeah, there are not a lot of jewelry brands that make pieces that tell such a story. And so if you are a fan of like vintage jewelry or like jewelry with meaning, definitely check them out. I think that they would make such a good holiday gift too if you're still on the hunt. I'm gonna leave the link for both of these pieces in the description box. What's next? So next up we're talking about winter accessories. This is a Uniqlo cashmere hat. I think it was what, three, four years ago, I bought a cashmere hat from Uniqlo and you guys like were obsessed with it because it's a, a really good price point and B, it's 100% cashmere. So, so I decided that it was time for me to get a new toque or hat or a beanie, whatever you wanna call it. And they have a new version that has like a band on the bottom. And I just feel like with my long face, the hats that have like a band tend to look better on me. This is what it looks like on in the gray. It comes in a bunch of different 
colors. I also got it in like a dark green. And then I also got matching gloves because like when I'm pushing Nico stroller, it's just like so cold on my hands. So these ones are soft and easy to kind of like still grip the handle. Very, very good option if you guys are looking for new hat and gloves. Very good price point for 100% cashmere items. All right, so next up is this cardigan from H&M. It's like super oversized, gotten a size large, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I have full cardigans video coming out, but I wanted to add it to the November favorites because it's just something that I've been wearing a lot lately because it is like this robe style. So it's super comfy for at home, but also looks really cute if you like belt it and looks like a little bit more put together and grown up. And it isn't itchy at all, but you still get this like really luxe, like wool looking like fabric. It's I think like 5% wool and look how beautiful it looks next to the Pam Card jewelry. Then there's this like fleecy jacket from Everlane. I feel like for this weather, you always want some sort of fleece on your body. And this is like a great alternative because it's like a jacket and you can layer like a hoodie under it for like extra warmth when like you're out on a walk or just wear it by itself, maybe even a turtleneck. I like that it has like the like little string on the bottom so you can make it look more like a bomber. I think it's really cute and it's a really easy piece to add to your closet that like won't go out of style because it's like this beautiful camel color. It's not like a trendy, trendy piece, but it definitely has some more like modern details to it. Okay, this technically isn't like a new piece for November, but they still have it available to buy. So I added it because I love it so much. This is a free people like crew neck cashmere sweater. Gray doesn't exist at least on the free people site, but they might make it again, but they have a beautiful cream color that I feel like you guys would like too. This one I'm wearing in a size medium. I think it fits great. I definitely say size up in this because it's meant to be a little bit more fitted and cropped, I think, but with any type of sweater, I like a little bit more give and fabric. I just absolutely love the details of this crew neck, like the thicker neck collar, and then like the details of kind of like raw finishes at the edges. It's a really good staple with like hints of like cooler details. So definitely check this one out. Okay, and then we have two pairs of jeans. These ones are the Citizens of Humanity Sabine Straight Legs. I got them from Essence. They're currently on sale. Um, hopefully we'll still be on sale when this video comes out, but I haven't tried a new style of citizens in a while and I absolutely loved how they looked online and how they look in person did not disappoint. They still have the tags on it because I literally just got them two days ago and I haven't decided if I like the size 25 or if I want to size up. Currently I'm wearing a size 25. These ones are like the gray color. They fit nicely right now but my weight it's like fluctuating so much and I'm definitely on the lower side of my weight so I feel like if I gain any weight these would be too tight. So stay tuned, I will do a recap on my favorite jeans in a couple weeks. Look how good, they're super high rise, very, very fitted throughout the hip region and they come down like a very slim straight leg. There are some straights that are like too wide for me, but these ones really, really like work with my leg shape. Sometimes I find they're too tight here and then they kind of flare at the bottom, but so perfect, the inseam is perfect. This is what it looks like a little bit closer. I find it really hard to find good gray jeans. They don't always look as uh, flattering. They feel like they're not forgiving at all, but this is a really good gray. There's not like too much um, light distressing that kind of like make you look bigger. I feel like the pockets are on a good spot on the bum. It does have button fly. Overall, great pair of jeans. The next ones that I wanna try are the Avas, but these ones were on sale, so I tried them first and I'm very, very happy with them. These are the other jeans that I wanted to show you. They are three by one, three X one. I think that's what you call the brand, but I am very impressed. It's a new denim brand for me, but they were on sale from Outnet, also a new site that I have never ordered from before and I'm pretty happy with it. These ones are size 26. Oh, sorry, both of them were 100% cotton. I'm pretty sure these ones for sure 100% cotton. These ones are very rigid. So if you're not like a stiff jean kind of person, they might not be for you. Again, high rise, very fitted on the waist. I wanna say even slimmer on the leg than the Sabine that I just showed you. That's why like straight leg means something different to every brand. <laughs> so you really have to like 
look at the measurements or watch a video online to see what they look like. They're kind of more like a skinny slim leg, I'd say. Inseam is perfect. I just really love the wash of these. They have like that green undertone and it's like super distressed looking without actually having rips through the legs. I'd say size, treat a size to size up. I feel like I could do a 25, but I wanted them to be a little bit more relaxed and because they're so rigid, I wanted them to be a little bit looser so that they're more comfy. So this is the wash closer up. You can really see like all the details, like minor distressing throughout the pockets. The back is a little bit lighter than the front. They just look like a really well like lived in pair of jeans, but they're brand new. It also has a button fly. And just to note, this brand doesn't have any branding on the butt pockets either, which I always look for with new jean brands. Like I don't like to have branding on the butt. Okay, and now we're gonna move into shoes. These are some Everlane flats that I am obsessed with. The color, the fit, the shape. I can't wear flats too often because I have issues with like the back heel area always digging in but these ones because it's like a elastic around it they don't dig in at all so if you have the same issue as me definitely check these out I think they're such a cute like style that like looks really good with jeans without being like oh you're wearing ballet flats they're a little bit cooler than that these are the Birkenstock clogs I've had these for like over 10 years but they've become super popular in the last year year and a half so they obviously still exist I don't know if this color is available because I know a while ago they were sold out but I will link you something similar. Birkenstocks, great shoe for anybody with like very sensitive feet because they have that support. Um, and they're like long lasting shoes. Like I've had my Birkenstocks, again, like these ones are over 10 years old. Um, just make sure you spray them because they are suede. Very trendy right now, but, but I've been wearing them for years even when they weren't trendy. So another good forever wardrobe piece because they're super comfy. Wear on walks, um, especially super cute if you are into socks and sandals like have super thick like wool socks in there, maybe over leggings, long jacket, hoodie, beanie, very cute look, but also they look pretty cute with jeans too. Last but not least are these boots from Geox. Also won't speak too much about them because I have that whole Geox video that I will also link in the description box down below. These are the Blaze boots, I believe they're called. They're a good intro to a chunky boot if you're not into the super, super chunky boot. And because they have a zipper on them, it makes it super easy to tuck things into. And they're very, very light for being a chunky boot. I really like this look with the jeans tucked in. So they are thin enough on the ankle that they can fit under like a really slim leg like this too. So those are my November favorites. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. I will be making a December favorites. Um, so if you have anything you want me to try out that might make it onto the list, leave them down in the comment section along with any questions you have. Everything will be linked in the description box. And if you like the video, like the video, remember to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep growing the channel and keep making these videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.